here with special author guest about to hear. Hello. She's the author of An Ember in the Ashes, A Torch Against the Night, whatever the third book is gonna be. Do you we have a title say, for that yet? I might, but I can't share it because okay. it might not last. Okay. Does it have until. anything to do with a fireplace? Maybe it might. <laughs> I'm gonna be very mysterious and not tell you. We're gonna be talking about Safa's books in a non spoilery way, but some of the questions are a little spoilery. There'll be a thing that pops up in the corner of what book it mildly spoils. So just mute the stream if you see a book you haven't read yet. The first thing I wanna talk to you about are these masks yes. in your world. They like glue to your face? Do you have a mouth? Or is the mouth like silver? Is it like magic? Are there breathing holes? So like it is sentient metal. So it's like alive and somewhat parasitic in nature, which I know. Is it like bacteria? Or it's, it's a like, little, it's, it's, it's alive. It's like living metal. Like and bug. so it basically attaches to your face and then it attaches back around your neck if you're a mask and it digs into your tattoo. All masks have like a diamond shaped tattoo on the back of their neck. It covers the whole face, but it doesn't cover the mouth and it do doesn't cover the chin. So it comes down like two little wings. What right about here. your nose? Yeah, it covers your full nose. I mean, obviously, it doesn't cover your like. Are you like mouth holes. breathers? Oh, okay. yeah. They're not like <laughs> they're not like like Darth Vader, you know. Like, um, <laughs> imagine like all masks, <laughs> mouth breathers. What about your eyes? So it, again, it, there's there's holes for the eyes, okay. holes for the nose, and then it like comes down to little wings in the mouth. So the mouth okay. is the chin's uncovered. So you can kind of see emotion in their eyes. Yeah, you can see emotion in their eyes, and then like you can see a blush or like you know anger How? and like the set of the chin or like oh, so like Helene so like, for example has paler skin. So when she blushes, you can see it going up the neck. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. You just don't see, like, the, the normal yeah. face blush. Mm -hmm. They're like a robot from here up. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> These are free things. Effort. A free. Effort. 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 Okay. Fine. Have come into play when they touch you. They're bringing out, like, abilities in different characters. Mm -hmm. If one touched you, what would happen? Like, what do you I mean, think I would hope come out in you? I mean, I one touched me, I would, like, trans... I would, like, have the ability to fly, but probably be something really, like, stupid. My, like, ability to, um, I don't know, like, bake would be heightened and I'd be able to, like, <laughs> you know, bake really fast or maybe make things that people really want to eat and I'd have to, like, open a bakery. Oh, you can, know. like, bake with your hands because they're really hot or something? Uh, yeah, something really ridiculous that has no <laughs> use in the real world whatsoever. That'd so. still be helpful for eating. That's like, true, which I'd be I do a lot of. That. Yeah. yeah. I feel better about my... Like potential baking power now. abilities. Yeah. Baking woman. <laughs> Watch me bake your food faster. Exactly. I, I'd be an infomercial. It'll be great. <laughs> so, Darren, Laya's brother, is like a really big character, kind of, but we don't know really anything about him. I wanted to do just like a little personality probe on him. Okay. So, what Hogwarts house is Darren in? Darren would probably be a uh, Gryffindor or a Hufflepuff. Which one? One or the leaning other. Leaning toward the like, Leaning toward Gryffindor. Okay. But I think that he's really like a Gryffin puff. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. See, these like hybrid house things, if you went to Hogwarts, you wouldn't be able to be like, True. I'm a Gryffin puff. Let it's me true. just straddle the two houses. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like you have to pick you one. You do have to pick. You know? It's true. I, I, I mean, I'm a Ravenclaw. Personally. Oh, me too. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I think that Lia is definitely a Ravenclaw, but I think that, yeah, I think her brother would be a Gryffindor. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. What kind of music would Darren listen to? Darren. Darren. Sorry. I'm I saying call him Darren. Darren. It's Darren. fine. Okay. It's totally fine. Don't worry about <laughs> it. So he'd probably listen to a lot of electronica. Um, he also listened to a lot of classical. He'd probably like like electronic classical. Um, I think that he wouldn't be as comedy. into like lyrics and stuff. <laughs> I think he'd be more into like instrumental. Okay. He's looking for the beat. The last thing I have for Darren here is like his book reading style. What kind of books does he lean towards? Just... He's gonna go for like the philosophy, the boring nonfiction. Mm. Um, he's gonna be interested in that sort of thing. Um, his sister is more of like the stories and the fantasy, yeah. and the fairy tales and that sort of Interesting. stuff. Interesting. I've asked this question before and I really liked it. If you were forced to switch out your characters for characters from Harry Potter, who would you switch in to replace them? Okay, okay. <laughs> I would probably switch, I mean, I'd, it'd be pretty classic switches, I think. Yeah. I'd probably switch in Hermione for or, Lia. For Lia? Um, yeah, I'd switch oh, in I always think of Helene as like an extreme Hermione. No, I think I think Hermione for Lia. Okay. Um, and then I think I would probably do... Run for Helene. Um, no, no, I could never do that to Helene. <laughs> I know, um, I'd probably funny. do, I might do Harry for Helene. Oh, interesting. And then, um, yeah, I, th I might do Harry for Helene. I like to young Dumbledore would probably be a good Elias fit. Oh, Like, you know, when okay. he was, like, you know, like, running around, like, looking for the wands and stuff. I, th I think that might be a good match. Okay, yeah. and Commandant Dolores on bridge. Commandant, <laughs> probably Voldemort. I mean, you know. What about the Nightbringer? The Nightbringer would be Voldemort. I think Commandant Bellatrix. Okay, yeah, I think that, Bellatrix that would works. be a good match. Would Izzy be, like, the Luna Lovegood? Izzy would be, like, 
like what's his name Neville I think oh yeah okay. I think his would be like okay. Neville I'm like cross like you know gender yeah, swapping cross gender, here yeah, yeah yeah okay I like it I like it I've been wondering this a lot how do augers happen I don't know if you could tell us but how do I augers happen I can't really share anything oh, about the augers what yeah. about what auger would you want to be your roommate in college probably <laughs> one of the ones who doesn't talk very much because I feel like <laughs> Kane is always walking around being like doom I would not want that in college I feel like Kane also kind of has a vague sense of humor for an He older. does, yeah, he's funny. I think he would probably make me laugh, but at the same time, I feel like he'd still be a pain in the neck. So, you'd pick, yeah. like, that woman auger? I'd pick the, I'd probably pick, like, the woman auger or, like, two of the, like, silent dudes carrying her because I feel like they would be quieter and I just... They'd just, like, stay they just, like, keep to their own there. space <laughs> and I would do my thing and they would do theirs and it would be fine. You wouldn't be looking for, like, the party auger yeah. like, friend experience. No, I think party <laughs> auger would be really weird. Like, what, how would they even party? They would... I don't know what they they'd would do. They'd just, like, laugh at all your thoughts. Yeah, they'd be, they'd be la- and then, like, and then, like, broadcast them to everyone <laughs> and be like, look at someone or They'd, like, thoughts. tweet about it. Yeah, that would be the party auger. That would be a fun auger. <laughs> If your characters had access to RTV, which reality shows do you think would be their favorite? Like, which one would they want to go on? Oh, wow. Um, I think that Laya would love, like, The Great British Bake Off, because I love The Great <laughs> British Bake Off, and I think she would be soothed by its, like, calm Britishness. Is she, like, a um, baker? Wannabe? She she was a jam maker, so I think that that's something that, like, okay. she kind of, like, relates to. Okay. Um, I also think that she would really be into, like, the survival shows, because like it would Survivor. be so different. Yeah, like, Survivor or, like, The Great Race, or whatever that's called. The Amazing, the Amazing Race? race? Oh. I don't watch reality TV. The Great you can Race. Tell. <laughs> the big race that they have. <laughs> Elias's guilty pleasure would probably be, like, The Bachelorette, and he would just oh be like, Oh my god, great. Really? Yeah, I think that he'd probably watch that. <laughs> I was thinking, like, he would win Survivor. Well, clearly. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Or, like, the warrior show. Those would wilderness. be, like, his public shows. He'd be like, yeah, I watch the show. But then, like, secretly, secretly he'd be like, oh, The Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> what about The Commandant? The Commandant, I think, would just throw things at the TV and be like, stop making sound strange box. And <laughs> Have you heard the whole audiobook? I haven't listened Torch? to the entire audiobook, because okay. it's, like, pretty long. Okay. Um, but I have listened to a lot of it. Okay, so The Warden. Have you heard his voice? No, I have not. Oh my god. You have to listen to it yeah. just for his voice. Is it creepy? <gasps> He's like, hi. My <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. <I was> like, <laughs> <"Call Great. off." laughs> Oh, awesome. Yeah, and I was gonna ask you if, like, you imagined his voice like that. It's creepy I AF. definitely imagine his voice being sort of high and kind of gravelly and very, like, crawly. Like, when you hear it, your skin starts to oh, crawl. Every time that, he talks. Yeah, okay, it's great. It's like good. fast forward to the parts of the war. Yeah. And I was gonna ask you, do you have anything specific that you did to get into his creepy, disgusting mindset? Because he's a fun one. It sucks, but I actually read about Mengele. Joseph Mengele is a, was a Nazi doctor. Oh my god. Um, and a, just a really horrible wow. human. Um, and so I sort of um, read about him and, and to him. some degree pulled from him to, to yeah. describe the word. This got real serious. Yeah, real yeah, yeah. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was a really interesting, creepy, fun villain. Not fun, but more interesting than like the really scary, mean commandant. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, the commandant's just, she's just the commandant. She's just yeah. really horrible. I yeah. hate her. <laughs> so you'd want her as a roommate, is what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. In like a quad. Maybe we could all gang up on her and teach her a lesson about niceness by booby-trapping her bunk bed or something. A lesson about niceness by booby-trapping her bunk bed. I love how that works out. Taste of your own medicine. If all your characters were living in our world, where do you think they would be working? Like, what do you think their jobs would be? Okay, so I think Laya would be, like, in training to be, like, a nurse or a doctor or something like that. Okay. Um, I think that Elias would probably be, like, working some, like, soloist job in a national park. I don't know. I don't know what. Maybe it'd be like a hunt. I have no idea. <laughs> a I park don't know. Ranger. A par- but like, I feel like park ranger doesn't really incorporate like his skills. Maybe he'd be like an assassin or something. I don't oh know. Oh my god. Maybe he'd work for like a CIA. Real life assassin. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like he would have gotten recruited for that and then eventually be like, I can't do this. And then it would be like gross point blank. Where, <laughs> you know, the guy's like trying to get out of the business and yeah. And then the commandant would probably be running for president. Uh, running. Yeah. Um, she would be a politician. <laughs> clearly. Helene. I feel like she. I'd be one of those people who runs like the reality shows where she like gets people into shape, you know, and like gets them like fit again yeah. or something. Oh yeah, or, like the biggest loser trainer. Yeah, person. like that, like the training person. So what are you working on right now? Is it book three? I'm working on book three. Okay, how's um, it going? It's going. 
Um, <laughs> it's going fine. So I have been on tour for the last few weeks. I haven't mm-hmm. had a chance to really work on it. I'm mostly letting ideas percolate. Okay. Um, but once I get back and sit down, I have like a lot of stuff I want to write. So okay. I'm very excited. So are you still drafting it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Not, it's not due till next year. Oh, <laughs> nice. Plenty of time. Nice. That's going to come back and haunt me, by the way. <laughs> Has the process gotten faster for you now that you're on book three? It's a little bit different for me. I have a better sense of, like, how I need to move forward, which is just to write and to, like, get words on the page Mm -hmm. as opposed to sitting there and, like, thinking Thinking everything through. through. What's a writing day for you? Do you write, like, big chunks at a time? I'm, like, really disciplined. So I get up and I, like, go to my office and then I screw around on Twitter (laughs) um, for, like, a really long time. Yeah. Um, I mess around on Instagram. I usually will call my family and be like, what are you guys doing? And they'll be like, hey, Selva, go write your book. Like, stop calling us. Oh, God. That was loud. <laughs> then I'll get a snack, because um, I will have been working hard all morning. Mm-hmm. And then usually around, like, 11, 30, 12, I'll be like, oh, okay, I have to start working on the book. And then I'll work on it till 5, and then I'll be like, I didn't have enough time! And then I'll work on it again at night. And how many books do you see the series being? I know you have four signed on, but do you see it as longer in your brain? Are you not allowed to say? No, I definitely see it as four okay. um, right now. I mean, I think that Lion Elias's story and Helene's story is, would be told in four books. That's mm-hmm. sort of how I always saw it in my okay, head. Okay, good. Cool. Um, but the world itself, I think, is ripe for expansion. So, okay. You know, we'll so see. So you might write again in this world. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. maybe I will. Yeah, because there's so much you haven't really, like, explored but hinted at. Yeah, it's, it's like the iceberg, right? You just see the tip of the iceberg, but I have all this other stuff. Yeah. Like this whole soul catcher. Yeah. That took me by surprise. That was, like, a whole new world. Yeah, and I was waiting for that to be able to sort of get into that world. She's been sort of lurking around for a while, waiting for her chance. So. Interesting. Yeah. I gotta find a loophole out of that. Nonsense. So you were thrilled with that ending, right? Oh, yeah. (laughs) I was, like, so mad that a... Is there a reason the spirits get so mad when they kiss at the end of the book? They don't like it when humans feel anything positive. They get very jealous because they can't feel that anymore. They're very rude. They're like, screw you. Like, they're very grumpy. So if they weren't looking, can they... Would it be okay? (laughs) How can my ship sail? That's what I'm hearing. (laughs) Um, I can't give you any more information. Uh, Ah, okay. I have to keep my secrets. Okay. 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 I like. I can hear you like working it out. In your head. <laughs> You're like, what if they weren't looking, or if we had a distraction? Maybe <laughs> like Darren went outside and did the jig. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that could work. And my last question for you was: I know Ember is in the process of being movie eyes. Mm-hmm. How is that going? Are we at have new It's news? going great. Okay. Um, there is a. <laughs> um, the script is being written, yeah. and I can't really share more than that. Okay, um, but it's going. But it's going. So we have two more books left, and you can't give us any hints about what's coming, right? Um, more suffering, um, torture, pain. That's what I'm gonna go for. <laughs> we'll see if I succeed. I well, thank you so much. You're welcome for thank joining you. me. Thanks for watching. I'm Christine. I'm Seba. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Blanking the, the scholars and the, the Mount Marshals. Oh my! Okay. I love how we both were like, wait, what are <laughs> like, they called? Wait, what are they called? <laughs> hello! Oh, sorry, I forgot. You can say hello too. Oh, no, hello. I'm-